and welcome to part three in our photo mode mini series where we're covering how to create a photo mode for your video game in unreal 4. in the last two episodes we've set up our camera to take pictures and be controllable around the map in this episode we're going to set it up so we can see how our cameras at pictures have turned out via a gallery so we're going to show a gallery widget on the screen and see all the pictures we have taken so let's get started right now so to display all our images on the same screen we need a widget to show this gallery off so we're going to create a new widget and we're going to call it photo gallery and in that photo gallery we're going to open this up and this will be a grid of uh photos that will be in a sort of a scroll box so you can scroll down and select whichever one you want so in our card panel here we'll need a scroll box and that will be stretched out across the whole entire thing so you go to anchor and click on this bottom right hand one here if you hold down control and shift it will sort the alignment out for you and the position too and inside there there will be a grid and this will be simply a uniform grid and again it should fill the whole entire sides up okay you can hit compile and save that so to show these images we need to first of all save them somewhere and we're going to store them onto the photo camera itself but the camera gets deleted after we close the camera we don't want to do that we want to store it somewhere where we won't have that issue so a good place to do it would be the controller let's go into our custom controller and in here we make a new variable and this will be called uh, photo gallery and that'll be an array of render targets so texture render target 2d texture render target 2d and that'll be an array and with that set up like so we then want to set up an event dispatcher type thing to be how handle when we've taken that photo and report it back to our player controller so on the photo camera here we're going to create an event dispatcher with it taken photo and this is going to have one input it's going to be a texture render target 2d and we'll call this one photo compile and after we capture the scene out to viewport we're going to drag that out and do cool and it's obviously we're going to plug in the photo there it's going to come from our texture target we should probably actually get from the scene capture component make it a bit easier get texture target okay compile and save that now if we go back to our custom player controller after we spawn our camera here we've got the set photo mode camera we're going to drag that out from there and do bind event to taken photo and this event here we're going to do custom event and call add to gallery and all we're going to do is just drag that into our array here so do add and plug that in like so so now we're storing all the photos we're taking on our controller now obviously these do take up memory so this is why you normally would have say a limit to how many photos you can take and this is why a lot of games would do that otherwise you could just spam the button endlessly and crash your game so we will be adding a limit to this down the line, but for now, we'll leave it. So, okay, so when we've added in that photo gallery there, we then want to make the widget of our photo gallery, fetch all those, and build our material out. So, for this, we need to create our own individual photo widgets. So, let's go into our photo mode folder, create a new widget, and this would be photo. Uh, we call it actually individual photo and in there it's going to be pretty much the same as what we had last time but we're just going to get rid of the canvas panel so this would be a border and an image inside that border there 
And this image here is going to have our instance of our photo material inst. And the border, we're going to change the padding on its content to 20. Okay, and we'll close that. Go back to your photo gallery. And then on the graph of this, we're going to go to the pre construct. And we're going to get player controller. Actually, further yet, we'll actually make this a variable. There we go. Photo gallery. And this will be the same variable that we had on our controller. So on here, texture, render, target 2D. And it'll be an array. And this will be editable and exposed on spawn. And on the pre construct, we're going to drag that out and do a for each loop. And all we're going to do is going to add these uh, to our new widgets that we made individual photos and then add them to the grid. So let's drag from loop body and do create widget. And choose individual photo. And we need to send over the image itself. So let's go back to the individual photo. Uh, widget go to the graph and add a new variable for this one photo uh, rent texture and that'll be a texture render target 2d and that'll be editable and exposed on spawn as well so we can set it to it um here um once we've got that in there though we have to tell our pre-construct here to set it to the image here so let's take the image out and we're going to get dynamic material. And we're going to do set texture parameter value. And this will be the same num uh, name as this, so photo render. So photo render. And the value for this will be this photo texture variable that we just made. I'll save that. Go back to our photo gallery. And if I just refresh this, we should see it now appear with photo texture. Let's plug in the array element from our for each loop into the photo texture. So it knows what photo to display. And this gives us a return value. This is the actual individual photo that we need to add to our uh, grid. So let's go back to our designer view. And with the uniform grid panel selected, we're going to name it gallery grid. And I'm going to tick is variable. And hit compile. So the next thing we need to do is add this to our container, which is currently a grid. However, in hindsight, I probably actually want to change that from a grid to a wrap box. So we'll just replace that with a wrap box. And name it gallery grid or gallery box. And tick the is variable box so we can add stuff to it. So if you go into your graph now, you should see it in your variable list. I'm going to drag that out and choose get and then we're going to do add child to wrap box and what wrap box will do is it will store them horizontally and when it reaches the end of the line they'll go to a new line so it'll do it for it'll do the rows and columns for us manually uh, automatically and the concept for that will be this return value compile and save that Last thing we need to do then is go to our custom player controller and tell it to display this gallery on the screen. So we're going to make that set up with the tab key. Tab. And we only want to do it if we're in the camera mode. So we know that if we've got the camera mode camera, uh, photo mode camera available and it's valid. Let's drag that out, choose get and right click convert the validated get. So if it's true, it means we're in photo mode. Uh, because when we go out of photo mode, we destroy it, so it shouldn't exist. Okay, so when we do that, we're going to do is valid, drag this uh, out from is valid, and do create widget. And select the photo gallery. And it should ask for the array. Again, if it doesn't, just go back, make sure you tick the instance editable. Let's just drag that into there. So, and then we're going to add that to viewport. But before I do that, promote to variable. I can close it easy. Gallery, add to viewport. Okay. 
then to close it when i do the tab key to open this up um i want to before i do the is valid check for photo camera i want to do a valid check on the gallery widget so let's do get right click but validate get and this will be all for is not valid so if it doesn't exist it will create it if it does exist we're going to take this and do remove from parent and then we're going to destroy the reference by clearing it like so set, set it to nothing uh, and that's it so let's test that out in game play run around see to go into camera mode Big picture there's one and we'll take another one go and we'll take one more okay and then i'm going to hit tab and there's our three images storing on the screen there obviously they're the wrong size easy fix we just go into the individual photo go to the designer view and the border uh sorry not border uh the um where i'm going wrong not the border we want to go to uh the image here and change the image size here to match what we want it to be so in the photo display i made this one uh we made this one 960 by 540. so if we do the same for this one 960 by 540. I'll save that. So now, if I test this out and go into my thing and go into camera mode, take some pictures like so, hit tab, and they will now appear on the screen. As you can see, I've made my images a lot smaller so they can fit more on the screen there. Now, you may have uh, encountered, if you're following along, a bug where you might see the same image appear every time on this gallery. Uh, I don't know why that is the case. I experienced it too. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, and it usually meant I have to restart the engine for it to not be an issue anymore. However, I did test this in a packaged game, and it worked fine. So if you follow this along and you package the game, it should work no problem, and you should see the gallery displaying all the images being unique. So let me know in the comments below if you're still not experiencing this solution correctly and um we'll try and come to a solution for you but it must be like a little bug inside the engine in this current version of uh, 427 but anyway there you go we've now got a gallery showcasing all the images that we've taken so far and if i close that and then continue taking more pictures let's go back to the character here let's just get some nice shots up here okay that picture Take a nice close up and then hit tab. We can see it now adding those pictures all together so we can see them all in their glory all together. And this is a scroll box, so if I did take more, um, we are just going to see that scroll box appear. Okay. And that brings us to the end of part three. In the next part, we're going to go through and show how to use this gallery to select an image and export it ready for you to save to your local hard drive for you to do whatever you wish to do with it. If you want to watch that next part right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can watch that part plus many others before anyone else from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.